Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. Now in today's video, we are going to be taking a look and unboxing the Yaesu FT4X. We'll also do a small power test as well. So without further ado, let's take a look at what you get. The FT4X is a UHF and VHF dual band handheld radio. It also covers the broadcast band as well. This is Yesu's answer really to the multitude of cheap Chinese radios that are out there. And Yesu, I guess, are trying to compete somewhat with that with this radio. So in the box we get the manual and the battery information. Put that to one side. Then we have the actual radio itself. Now the first thing you're going to notice is just how small the radio is. So quickly as a size comparison, I do have a Baofeng UV5R handy. So as you can see, it's just that little bit smaller than a Baofeng. And uh, that really is one of the reasons that I went for it. So anyway, you get the handheld, like so. Put that to one side. Then we get the charging cradle the power plug for the uh, cradle and we also get handily enough the UK style three pin plug for the charging adapter like so next up we have the belt clip and two screws The battery pack, which is a 7.4 volt battery pack, uh, 1750 milliamp hour battery. And if we get the uh, radio, there we go. Still quite, quite a small form factor. And lastly, we get the antenna. Taking a closer look at the radio, we have a standard non-backlit keypad and on the left hand side we have the PTT, we have the monitor and call button and we also have the function button. On the right hand side we have this little cover for the microphone, speaker microphone and uh, the data cable. On top we have, obviously we've got the on and off switch and volume and we have the emergency key here. Turning on the radio, we are met with our dual VFO. We have VFO A and to switch between A and B we just press the V and M, VFO memory, and there's VFO B. Now in VFO B, you use this to access the FM broadcast band. So you do this by pressing this button down here, band, like so. Now I'm not gonna tune into a commercial radio station purely because I don't wanna get the video flagged for copyright. So um, that's how you access the broadcast band only in VFOB. 
and you go back by just pressing band and you can switch between VHF, UHF and the FM broadcast band. And once you've programmed your radio like I have, you can switch to your memory channels simply by pressing V and M, like so. You go to B, and then you're in memory mode. And there you'll find your saved frequencies that you have programmed in. Now, before I show you a little bit of a power test, I must say that this has been the easiest handheld that I have ever programmed. It is simply enjoyable programming it by hand. It really is from the key press. I didn't need any software and I didn't need a cable, but you can buy the data cable and you can download software to do it, but it really is super simple to do from the keypad. So I'm going to set up the power meter and we're going to do a little bit of a power test. According to the manual, the high power mode, this radio is doing five watts. So we'll test that on VHF to start with. So we are on 145.4 in high power mode and we are doing about two and a half, maybe three watts, two and a half to three watts. So now we are on UHF high power mode and let's see what it is doing. Five watts. So five watts on UHF and about two and a half to three down on VHF. We'll switch over now to the medium power. So we go to TX power in the menu and set that to middle. Now, according to the manual, it is doing two and a half watts on medium power. So let's try again. So we're back on VHF 145.4 and let's see what it's doing. About two watts. We'll do the same test again on UHF. So 433.4 once again. And we'll set the transmit power to medium. And we'll try the same test again on UHF. We're doing two and a half watts stated power. So lastly, the only thing left to check is the low power mode, which according to the manual is half a watt. So again, back into the menu, down to low power, back to VFO, and we're on VHF for the last test on low power, we are doing half a watt as stated. So we'll switch the TX power down to low now for UHF and 143.3.4 for the last time. This should be half a watt on low power, which it is. So interestingly enough, the, uh, the stated output power is relevant to UHF but uh, on uh, VHF it's a little bit less. So there we have it that has been my little unboxing and power test of the Yaesu FT4X. Now if you are in the market for a budget radio and you want to uh, you don't want to spend out a lot of money you're getting a Yaesu branded device here. At the time of this video going out, this was £64 or thereabouts, and I bought it from Martin Lynch and Son. Now, this radio is type approved, so therefore you're not going to be suffering with any spurious retransmissions, which these um, cheap Chinese radios suffer from. And also, this receives that little bit better than the uh, Baofeng. Reason being, this morning, I was using this handheld, and there is a repeater that I can't normally receive 
let alone open on my Baofeng radios. And that is around 30 miles away in the town of Hastings. And it is a two meter repeater. I actually can't even hear it on my Baofeng radios. But not only was I able to hear it on an S2, I was able to open it at the same time. So it's got a fantastic receive. I do hope this video has been of some help or use to you. Maybe you are in the market for a little Yesu budget friendly handheld. And you may be just looking on YouTube for the unboxing and power test because I've done that myself in the past with various radios. I wanted to see what the actual output power was. So if that has been the case, you know, please do consider dropping a like below. The other button is there too. Also, with that said, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, you know, please do consider hitting the uh, subscribe button below because I really do appreciate every single subscription. So until the next video, I'm going to end it there. So I'm going to wish you all the best 7-3, stay safe and take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.